So, you have unbridled rage and murderous intent. Well, lucky for you, this guy's gonna help that out a little bit. By the end of this guide, you'll be one-shotting people left and right. We're gonna be making a thief starting from nothing, but let's get right into this. Of course, we're starting with the bold and beautiful wretch. Make your way through the tutorial and get absolutely clapped by the tutorial boss. Into the lands between. Make sure you light this first mark of grace and then head straight for the church right in front of you. Light this next mark of grace in the church of Ella. Grab the smithing stone on this anvil right here. Make your way north to the gate front ruins. You can kill these soldiers right here, but it's not necessary. When you see the ruins, you can take a left and get to this mark of grace without fighting any enemies. Let Melina remind you that you're maidenless and that no woman cares for you and no one wants your touch and you're gonna die alone. Your soul may be crushed, but you have a horse now. Head west through the storm gate and avoid all enemies. They're gonna rip out your insides if you attack them. You'll eventually reach this golden seed. Slap it in your inventory and keep going. After a little bit of running, you should come across this mark of grace north of where you got the golden seed. Go ahead and light that. Casually be viciously mauled by a wolf. If you wanna grab this stone sword key right now, you can. Head back to the gate front mark of grace. Now we're heading east, and in the middle of these ruins, there's gonna be a monument and a map pieces here. Go ahead and snag that. Continue down the road until you find this next mark of grace and light it. We're gonna be going off road now, so make sure you're following my path. We're gonna be going down into the lake and under the bridge. We're about to fight a pretty strong invader, but don't worry, we're gonna get a little bit of help. After the bridge, keep going until you automatically exit your horse. Clench your butt cheeks. You're in for a big battle. There's an invader with a blood build that's gonna clap you. He's gonna absolutely break you in half, slice you open, and suck out your insides. Just be careful. This battle should be a breach. After you do a little bit of damage to the guy, you'll summon Yura, which is Granddaddy Samurai. Mm-hmm, yeah. Whenever you and your master kill the invader, you're gonna get yourself Reduvia, a blood dagger. We'll use that a little bit later. There should be a cave right beside where you got invaded to the west. Go ahead and head in there and get that Mark of Grace. We'll use it for a fast travel point later, but right now we're gonna head north in the river and continue our onslaught. Channel the power of God and anime and leap up this mountain with the force of a thousand suns. Right in your path, there's an artist shack. We're gonna go here and get this Mark of Grace. What a lovely path painting. Oh my- ooh, ah. Lost Grace discovered. If you're lost, here's my map. Follow my path here. We're gonna head down the mountain southeast, and we're gonna come across another Mark of Grace. Just follow my path. It's okay. Don't worry. You're not gonna have any enemies. Here's the map for you lost ones. Now we're gonna head northeast until we find ourselves on top of this pillar thing that's broken down. Meet the man, the myth, the legend, Kenneth Hyde. Continue on after Kenneth and loot this graveyard right near him. Make sure you get every rune possible here. Head down the mountain and then go east. You'll eventually meet the third church of Marika, which is where we're gonna get our physic file. Just grab the sacred tear over by Marika, and of course your physic file over here. Go ahead and mix your wondrous physic mix, and upgrade your flasks. Now we're gonna follow this road down all the way to Kenneth Heights Fortress. It's gonna be a long journey, but just head south. After a while, you'll find a monument with a map piece. Go ahead and grab it, and then there's a cookbook beside the bear over here. This isn't necessary, but if you hear howling, you can turn to the right while you're going south, and you can find the Mistwood Ruins. In here, you can loot extra smithing stones, and also an axe talisman, which helps charge attacks. Just keep heading south until you reach a shoreline, and then you're gonna go east. Eventually, you'll come across this Mark of Grace. Here it is on the map for you guys. From that Mark of Grace, you're gonna head west and eventually you'll come across a graveyard. Loot this graveyard as well. Go ahead and head back to the Mark of Grace and use all your itemized runes that you have in your inventory. Go ahead and level up so you have 11 strength, 15 dexterity, and 13 arcane. Use any extra runes to level up at your own discretion. Now you can use your Reduvia and murder people. Go ahead and head into the fort right above you and grab this golden seed beside this golden tree. Now you could try to kill everybody in the fort, but I'm gonna show you how that turns out right here. I mean, you could try to hide and lose aggro, but they will find you and they will kill you. Just run past everybody and climb up this ladder right here. This blood knight will follow you and you can kill him 1v1. After you kill him, you're gonna get the Ash of War Bloody Slash. This is very necessary for this build. Fast travel to the Stormhill Shack, Mark of Grace that we found earlier in the video. You're gonna be heading northeast until you reach right here on your map. Go ahead and mark it. Just follow your waypoint. You'll eventually come across the Death Touch Catacombs. Go ahead and enter into here. Sit at the Mark of Grace and follow my lead. There's going to be skeletons and googly mooglies wanting to devour your very soul, but don't worry. Just go into this side door right here and go into this other side door right here and pick up this item. This is the Uchi Katana. This is a beastly dex weapon that we're going to be using to farm our next spot so we can get some armor and also a dagger. Fast travel to the Agil Lake North Mark of Grace that we discovered earlier. You're going to run into the ruins to the west and you'll find yourself a staircase that you can go down. Down. This is going to get you a whetstone knife if you open the chest. Now fast travel back to Murkwater Cave, the Mark of Grace right beside our invader kill that gave us the Ruduvia. Add Bloody Slash Ash of War to your Uchi Katana and turn it to a blood weapon. Now we're going to spend a little bit of time here in this cave. We're going to farm these thieves until we get their full set of armor, except for pants because they don't drop pants, and also they're going to drop a dagger for us. Their drops are extremely common, so this shouldn't take a long time. Your Bloody Slash should one-shot them. After you get your dagger drop, go ahead and change your Bloody Slash over to the dagger 
dagger and then main hand your dagger. Now, even without weapon upgrades, we have ourselves a very powerful bleed build. Because you're dual wielding daggers, you can attack rapidly and build up bleed very, very fast. The Highwayman set does not have a pair of pants, but you can go down to the Weeping Peninsula at this bonfire right here. Here it is on the map for you. This merchant here sells the leather trousers, which actually perfectly matches the Highwayman set. I believe this is actually what it's meant to be. Well, here's the final build, ladies and gentlemen. If you have an enemy that can't bleed, use your Uchi Katana, but if you know they can bleed, then use your dual daggers and bleed them out. With that being said, thank you for watching and subscribe.